Hi friends, welcome back. Nobler's Heart of Darkness. Let's put it to the test. Now, this ink was released uh, a couple years ago. I believe it was 2014. I might be wrong. <laughs> I didn't do any research before I filmed this video, so I apologize for that. But I came across with this ink recently, a couple of months ago. I've had it for a while. And then... Um, I decided to go ahead now to have a little bit of time and film a review. I do own um, a few Noodler's uh, inks by now, and I'm not gonna lie, I I am fascinated with them. I adore the uh, quality of the pigments. I appreciate um, the fact that this company is um, aware of the impact that production could have on the environment so their products are uh, very um, they have an organic quality to it it's like uh, they're very simple made and as uh, safe for the environment as possible so this is something I appreciate um, it's a massive bottle of ink it comes with a free pen the Charlie pen this is my second one I uh, got another one with the Nikita uh, red ink, which is a favorite. And basically it's just an eyedropper pen, which means you fill the, uh, the body of the pen with the uh, ink and it's good to go. And it's very easy to take apart and clean. And um, I just wanted to take a look at this and see the difference. This is a Winsor Newton <laughs> Indian ink bottle and there is a heart of darkness and uh, you can see that there is quite a difference in terms of quantity. And for the price, it's unbelievable. Uh, here's the eyedropper. And I'm going to show you now how you set up the pen. It's very easy. It's just fill the, what's that called? The barrel <laughs> of the pen, the body of the pen. No. Uh, I adjusted the, I made sure the tip, the, um, the nib was in place and all that. Now, I had a little bit of uh, trouble like, getting the ink to flow on this pen. My other Charlie pen started to flow instantly and it was a delight. It is a delight. And this one was a little bit rough, but I still liked it and it worked fine. Here's a comparison. In the middle we have Heart of Darkness and then we have Winsor Newton Indian ink on top. And then... Um, we have a swatch with the pencil pocket brush in the bottom. And I'm not sure which ink comes with that, um, but I decided to put it there just to compare. And as you can see, Heart of Darkness beats them both in terms of how black it is. And for today's demonstration, I'm not using any pencil to sketch. I'm just sketching with the Charlie pen, as you can see it's working um, the nib I thought it was gonna be a little bit uh, finer so it doesn't it doesn't seem to be a super fine nib uh, a lot of ink flows out of the nib uh, but it's still very uh, comfortable to use and I'm just sketching uh, a lily plant flower blue lilies um, nothing fancy just like a quick sketch and some new shadows and some texture and up until that point I was very happy with it however something happened and I, I guess I didn't let the uh, drawing dry long enough um, because the pen was a little bit of a heavy flow the ink did not dry instantly so uh, what I'm gonna do after it's I'm gonna come back and uh, paint with uh, my Winter Newton uh, Cutman watercolors to sort of to test out the um, water resistance uh, quality of the ink and some of the ink started to move as you can see 
uh, I do believe this is the thing. It's um, it's eternal and it's uh, water resistant. So the issue here was that I did not let it dry long enough. I was impatient uh, to finish my videos, so I decided to just work with it. And um, some of the ink moved. Most of the ink uh, stayed put. If if you like your uh, painting or drawings or illustrations to be very clean, your colors to be very clean, definitely let this ink dry completely before you come with uh, watercolors or whichever media you're gonna use. But other than that, I it didn't stop me from <laughs> um, finishing this uh, little illustration. I uh, I tried to make the, to make it work. <laughs> and I am working on a um, piece of uh, mixed media uh, paper um, actually the cheapest kind it's by Artist Loft and it's just like a little piece of the uh, page and I do know that some inks take longer to dry in this kind of paper it's just that I was not thinking about that like if, if I was using uh, like a more texture or drier kind of paper like a watercolor paper for instance then I think it would have dried up quicker so there's that but I, I love the ink okay I, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna film another video where I would paint first and then I will come with ink on top of the painting and see how that works because I'm not gonna the fact that some ink moved it's not gonna ruin the excitement <laughs> for this ink um, now Heart of Darkness just like a quick uh, interesting fact Heart of Darkness it's a novel by uh, Joseph Conrad I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I did get to read it uh, a few years ago. I'm not gonna spoil it. It's really good if you're into books and reading. I recommend it. You can find uh, some information on, on the internet, and if, if the plot uh, in interests you, I suggest you read it. It's quite wonderful. And there was a film um, that was inspired by Heart of Darkness. It's uh, by uh, Coppola, by Francis Coppola, and it's called Apocalypse Now, and it's one of my favorite films of all times. And there's also a documentary uh, made by his wife, which I actually like better than the movie. So, there's that. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I didn't hesitate and bought the ink right away, because uh, the name of the ink really uh, intrigued me. So yeah, overall I was uh, satisfied with the ink, I will continue to work with it, I'll, um, I'll get to figure it out at some point, uh, I think I'm going to do a follow up video on this, uh, to try and get it to, um, to look, uh, to get the illustration to look a little bit more clean, although I do like to paint I'm very messy when it comes to painting and drawing all that I'm very loose and I do like my colors to look muddy and uh, not as vibrant it's just my personal taste but yeah I'm gonna come back and do a little follow-up I so far I am in love of uh, with uh, Noodler's inks I own a few of them I think I'm gonna be doing some more videos to review them this is not a sponsor video I wish <laughs> but yeah I do love them and um, and there is a, a very interesting aspect uh, about them uh, the philosophy behind them his uh, particular views uh, Nathan's view I'm not gonna get into that but yeah I, I do appreciate his product I and I will continue to support it so there it is um, let me know what you thought and um, as always to my new subscribers welcome to all of you guys thank you so much for watching I will see you later bye